Hey everybody, it's Mr. N, and we are doing yet another Related Rates video on this one. Uh, this Related Rates video involves a cylindrical tank. So these are cylindrical tanks, Related Rates. Okay, and this first problem, this problem says, a cylindrical tank is being filled with sand at a rate of 100 pi cubic feet per minute. If the tank has a radius of 15 feet, how fast is the height increasing? All right, so here's what we got. We are given this cylindrical tank, and it uh, is being filled with sand at a rate. Again, this word, keyword right here, uh, rate, tells me 100 pi cubic feet per minute. So that's a volume. So this means that this is being filled with a DVDT, the change in volume over time, that's our rate, at 100 pi uh, cubic feet per minute. If the tank has a radius, another key piece of information, a radius of 15 feet, how fast is the height increasing? So we need dH dt, so how fast, that's a rate for the height. So this is what we're trying to solve for. All right, so let's see. We have a cylinder. We need a formula. So the volume, and we're talking about volume. That's why I'm choosing volume. The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. There we go. So now let's see what we can do with this. Since we are given this formula, first step in doing related rates is we set everything up, and now we want to go ahead and implicitly differentiate both sides. But then I notice there's two variables here. There's an R and an H on the right side. Well, what do we do? Well, look, this remains constant. On a cylinder, that does not change. If you want to go ahead and put 15 in right now, you can, or else just treat it as a constant, because no matter where I am, how high up I am, that radius stays the same. So let's go ahead and say dv dt is going to be pi r squared. So I did not take, I did not take the derivative here of r because it's a constant, but I will take the derivative of the height, which is dh dt. Now, suppose you had taken the derivative of it and you used a product rule, well then you'd sit there and say, well, what is dr dt? Uh, well, it's not changing, so that would be zero. So it would cancel itself out regardless. All right, so now let's see. Let's plug in some numbers. We have 100 pi right here equals pi. We know the radius is 15 squared. This is going to be feet cubed per minute. This is going to end up being feet squared. So then we'll end up with feet per minute when we're done. And this is going to be dh dt. So here we end up with 100 and the pi's reduce over, let's go ahead and divide the 15 squared, which is 225, dh dt, which gives me a final value of dh dt of 4 ninths, which is about 0.4 repeating feet per minute. So the keys, what are the keys to doing cylinders? Well, we need to first make sure we know our formula for a cylinder, which is that. And secondly, this is a constant. That radius is a constant, so it's not going to change. And then just set up the formula and solve for dv dt or dh dt based on the information given after you implicitly differentiate. Now, if they ask for surface area, obviously we'd use a surface area formula, and we'd go from there. So hopefully this helped, and good luck with your related rates.